So the whole genesis of this article on correcting your slice is that I believe that if there's a road you take to playing good golf, nowhere on that road is there a slice. You can go from slicing to hooking to good golf, or you can go from hooking to good golf. So when I'm walking down the range, I see all these amateur golfers who fight a slice. Probably 90% of the people that play golf slice, and they all make a loop that kind of goes counterclockwise. So the swing looks like this. They take it inside, and then they make this loop that goes counterclockwise over the top. And I thought, if there is a way to teach people just a simple system for fixing their slice, I could help 90% of the people that play golf. And the concept that I came up with was getting them to swing the club on what is a clockwise motion. So I have them take this practice swing. And it starts off just like this, just making a clockwise motion like this. So they learn to get the golf club to come up, and then it comes down flatter and more from inside as they come down. Now, this is the beginning part. So you just practice this concept. And then, as the club gets over the top of your head, you turn. So your back is facing to the target. So the first motion, up over the top of my head, turn my shoulders. Now when my hands get to 3 o'clock, I'm going to turn my hands over as I come through. When you set up to the ball, make sure you've got a little stronger grip, meaning that your hands are turned to the right so you can see at least three knuckles on your left hand and a softer grip pressure, if you will. Hold on almost as soft as you can. That will make it easier for your hands to release. So club up, turn, 3 o'clock, turn your hands over. All you got to do, practice this motion first. Then the next step would be to take it to here and turn. And then the next step would be to take it up here. Now turn. And before you know it, you've got a normal, you got a normal looking golf swing that's curving the ball from right to left.